Hello, hello there tribe. Aaron Freeman, without Jocelyn Freeman this time, coming to you. Author, speaker, social entrepreneur, and really what Jocelyn and I are here for is that we are ambassadors for partnership. Why? Because that's really what's going to make a difference in this society. Just imagine if partnerships are thriving around each of us and through us, the type of society that we could really live in. So, coming to you a little bit later than usual, and Jocelyn and I are just getting out of the event with Tony Robbins, and so I really want to just speak to something that he was talking about, just because it's right there for me. It's on the back of the last video that we did, talking about you know what to do and how to be affected and not affected by your partner's emotional state. Really want to talk about something that he brought to all of us on how to actually change that state and ultimately want to just come right back to all of us and just say, look, we're in a partnership, we're in our life, we're in business, whether you're in partnership um, with your significant other in business or not, you know, we're out in life to produce some sort of result. And so ultimately that result is going to be produced how? We're going to have to change some actions or ultimately some behaviors that have us consistently take actions that may or may not be the effective, effective ones. But the primary thing here is we can take action and we can continue to take action like if you wanted to see a sunset for instance, right, and you're like, look, I'm going to see a sunset, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue, or excuse me, a, a sunrise, no, sunset, and um, I'm just going to continue to head east. I'm just going to keep on taking that action. That's not going to be the most effective action for you to see that sunset. So there is a certain way of taking action that's going to make a huge difference and that's going to be the state. It's going to be the energy. It's the way in which we feel that allows us to take the actions necessary to produce the result that are aligned for us. And so ultimately, we all know that we can feel different ways, right? I mean, things happen to us and these are really circumstantial. It makes us feel like disappointed or it makes us feel like we're not of value or maybe our partner says something and we don't feel like we're the best partner, that we're not supporting them in the best way. And so that changes our state, that drops our state into a low vibration, into a suffering type of state or mentality. And then at that point, it doesn't matter what actions you take. They could be effective per se, but when you're taking them from such a low energy state, not going to produce the results that we're out to produce. So, how do we actually change this? And there's really two ways. One is physiological. That's the physical body. So if you want to change your state, you start to get into motion. You start to change your physiology, your physical. And so what are some things you can do? Go into a power pose. Jump up and down. Get your feet like off the ground. Make a for real state change. Put your hands up in the air. Breathe differently. Why? This affects the nervous system. And we did exercises after exercises to show that when you change your state, when you change your physical body, this raises your energy level, this raises your vibration. You can get in alignment within the actions that are actually can produce the results that you have to produce in your partnership, in your business, wherever it is. And so the other thing, besides changing your physical state, uh, or your physiology to get in a peak state, to get in a beautiful state, as Tony says, is what you focus on. So what you focus on, what you seek, you will always find. And if it's you know, my partner just does not have my back. My partner is always bringing me down. If that's the case, whether or not it is, if you're looking for it, you're going to find that and you're going to get more of it. So it really is what you focus on is going to determine your state, your energy level, how you feel. And so it really is to always choose. Choose what you want to focus on. And a great place to come from is to focus on gratitude. All of us living in the United States, in the time that we live in, you can take two minutes and you can find something to be radically grateful for. You can probably find something that at one point in your life, maybe a few years ago, seemed like it was impossible for you to do and now you've actually done it. So focus on that gratitude, focus on the appreciation and that also will change your state. And again, changing what you focus on, changing your physiology, changing that state to a high vibration, that's going to really be what drives your actions and your behaviors around your actions to produce the result, whether that's a purposeful partnership, a thriving business, a fulfilled life. 
So I really wanted to bring that to you. Uh, that's really from the Tony Robbins event that we were just at. I'm just fully taking this on for myself and really getting in, in control of my state to really be in control of my life and my partnership. And so Jocelyn and I are taking that on together. Thank you for jumping on. We will be coming to you with these 30 days of conscious partnership. This is day 11. And so, you know, put out a message, put out a comment. We'd love to get to this dialogue with all of you so that we can be accountable to each other to really make this kind of difference in society that we're out to make through relationships.